Bandeham Shri Guru Shri Atta Parakalam Kamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Saganaraganatam Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Rana Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Vidam Sya Oma Gyana Timranda Sya Gyanajana Shalakaya Shakshurun Militam Yena Tasma Shri Gurave Nama Gurva Bistam Supurkam Gurganara Sisha Sambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samastavena Nipunam Shri Rupa Patanagam Govinda Bidam Ujjwalam Bharatanum Bhaktyan Bidam Sundaram Mande Vikshwa Gurunsha Divyad Bhagavat Prem Noe Bijapradam Devam Divyatanum Suchanda Bharanam Balarka Chelanshitam Sandrananda Puram Sareka Varanam Vairagya Vidyam Budim Sri Siddhanta Nidim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Varam Bandetam Shubaram Mareka Sharanam Nyashi Sarasi Dharam Bansha Kalpata Rubya Shakripa Sindhu Bhyavita Patita Nam Pavanibyo Vaishnava Bhyonamonama Namo Mahabhananyaya Krishna Prima Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gaurata Vishenama. So we're reading from the Bhagavad Gita, The Hidden Treasure of the Sweet Absolute, with translation and commentary by Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhardev Gosai Maharaj, and translation into English by Sri Swarupananda Prabhu. Okay, this is chapter 18, Moksha Yoga. The path of liberation. Arjuna vacha san sanyasha mahampaho tatvam ichami veditum jagasya cha rishikesha pritak keshin nishudana. Arjuna said, O Almighty Lord, slayer of the demon Keshi. I wish to understand the subject of renunciation, sannyas, and detachment, tyaga, separately. Arjuna said, O mighty Lord, slayer of the demon Keshi, I wish to understand the subject of renunciation, sannyas, and detachment, tyaga, separately. Sri Bhagavanuvasya, kamyanam karmanam nyasam, Sanyasam kabayo vidu sarva karma phala tyagam prahus tyagam vijakshana. The Supreme Lord said, Learned, enlightened persons know the giving up of fruit of action as renunciation and the giving up the fruits of all action as detachment. The Supreme Lord said, Learned, Enlightened persons know the giving up of fruit of action as renunciation and the giving up the fruits of all action as detachment. So, Srila Sridhar Marsh has used the term yukta vairagya. Yukta vairagya means we are detached in the sense that we are not trying to attain anything for ourselves. But we are, uh, whatever we may gain, we are offering to Krishna. So, yukta vairagya means giving up the spirit of enjoyment and offering everything to Krishna. That will be yukta vairagya. Chajam doshavad ityeke karma prahur manishina yagyadana tapa karma natyajam iti chapare. Some philosophers hold that action should be renounced as imperfect. Others hold that action of the nature of sacrifice, charity, and austerity should never be given up. Some philosophers hold that action should be renounced as imperfect. Others hold that action of the nature of sacrifice, charity, and austerity should never be given up. So we've heard, heard this described, that sacrifice, charity, and austerity 
one should not give them up, even if they're being done imperfectly. Nischayam shinume tatra tyage bharata satama tyago e purusha vyagra trivida samprakirtita. O best of the Bharatas, now hear my perfect conclusion concerning detachment, the quality of renunciation. Since, O best of men, it has been clearly established that the quality of renunciation is of three types. O best of the Bharatas, hear my perfect conclusion concerning detachment, the quality of renunciation. Since, O best of men, it has been clearly established that the quality of renunciation is of three types. So here, Krishna is saying, is according to one's situation in the material nature, especially if one is still entangled with material enjoyment, then, then uh, one's nature will be, be controlled by these modes of nature, goodness, passion, and ignorance. So here, Krishna is saying to Arjuna, about renunciation, O oh, best of men, it has been clearly established that the quality of renunciation is of three types, which will be in relationship with the modes of nature. Yagyadana tapa karma, nyachajam karyam evatat, yagyodanam tapaschaiva, pavanani manishinam. Actions of the nature of sacrifice, charity, and austerity should never be abandoned. They must be performed for they are the purifiers of the wise. So actions of the nature of sacrifice, charity, and austerity should never be abandoned. They must be performed for they are the purifiers of the wise. And we've heard before, Bhuktaram Yagya Tapasau, Tapaso sarva loka maheshwaram, suridam sarva bhutanam gyatvam mam shanti richati, that uh, all yagya should be performed for the satisfaction of the Lord, yagya vai vishnu. So again, these actions are going to be in relationship, in the perfect sense, relationship with devotional service. Actions of the nature of sacrifice, Charity and austerity should never be abandoned. They must be performed there, for they are the purifiers of the wise. Etani apitu karmani sangam tyaktva falani cha kartavya niti me parta nischita matam uttamam etani apitu karmani Sangam tyaktva falani cha kartavya niti me parta nischita matam utamam. But even these actions must be performed abandoning attachment and fruit of desire. O parta, know this to be my perfect supreme, supreme conclusion. But even these actions must be performed abandoning attachment and fruit of desire. O Parta, know this to be my perfect supreme conclusion. But even these actions must be performed, abandoning attachment and fruit of desire. O Parta, know this to be my perfect supreme conclusion. So this will be accomplished when everything is given for the satisfaction of Krishna. All these actions are performed, and Krishna is the enjoyer of the actions, and he is the enjoyer of the fruits of the actions. Niyatasya tu sanyasa Karmano nopa padyate mohat tasya parit yagas tamasa parikirtita. 
Ja, ein bisschen bald schon über die Power Engineer der Maharaji. Krishna goes on. Niyatasya tu sannyasa karmano nopapadyate mohatasya parityagas tamasa parikirtita. Renunciation of one's obligatory duties is wrong. The delusion of giving up these duties is called false renunciation or renunciation of the nature of ignorance. Renunciation of one's obligatory duties is wrong. The delusion of giving up these duties is called false renunciation or renunciation of the nature of ignorance. And that sometimes is called uh, markata vairagya, the renunciation of monkeys. And then there's also markata, markata vairagya, or falgu, markata vairagya and falgu vairagya. Falgu is false renunciation, markata. Markata is the renunciation of monkeys. Renunciation of one's obligatory duties is wrong. The delusion of giving up these duties is called false renunciation, or renunciation of the nature of ignorance. So people were sometimes, they were in awe by seeing signs of false renunciation. I will remember one devotee telling me how much he was impressed by meeting some, some yogis downtown. And he was saying how they were so renounced that they, all they had was a wooden bowl and they ate everything out of the wooden bowl. But, you don't really see that as, as a, such a, a show of renunciation. Real renunciation means to give up the idea, false idea that I'm the enjoyer of everything. So renunciation of one's obligatory duties is wrong. The delusion of giving up these duties is called false renunciation or renunciation of the nature of ignorance. Dukam ityeva yat karma kaya klesha bayatya jet sakritva rajasam tyagam naiva tyaga phalam labet. One who abandons his obligatory duties out of fear of physical discomfort, considering them troublesome, performs renunciation of the nature of passion. Thus he does not attain the fruit of true detachment. One who, ban who abandons his obligatory duties out of fear of physical discomfort, considering them troublesome, performs renunciation of the nature of passion. Thus he does not attain the fruit of, of true detachment. So this refers to someone who is, who is meant to perform some activities, which we hear where Krishna says, these activities should not be abandoned. He says the uh, actions of the nature of sacrifice, charity, and austerity should never be abandoned. They must be pure, performed, for they are the purifiers of the wise. So sacrifice, charity, and austerity. But here we see one who abandons his obligatory duties out of fear of physical discomfort, considering them troublesome, performs renunciation of the nature of passion. Thus he does not attain the fruit of true detachment. I remember when Srila Prabhupada was speaking and then one lady came up and her statement was, she said, Swamiji, isn't, isn't yoga so taxing? And then I remember Prabhupada's reply is, uh, lady or madam, I don't remember. He said, lady, you are already being taxed in 
so many ways, why not be taxed for something useful? <laughs> so we're already going through so many difficulties and, and inconveniences and austerities. Look at the way people are living now. They're going through so many inconveniences, austerities, difficulties. But here Krishna says, one who abandons his obligatory duties out of fear of physical discomfort, considering them troublesome, perf performs renunciation of the nature of passion. Thus he does not attain the fruit of true detachment. So we're already being going through so many difficulties. So we should continue with our devotional service and whatever, whatever we're meant to perform because we're going through difficulties anyway. So why not go through some difficulties for something that is actually very noble and will which, which will be of eternal benefit for one. Otherwise, otherwise, so many in so many ways we're we're um, going through discomfort. People go through discomfort in order to earn money and, or in order to get some kind of benefits. So they should go through some discomfort, accept some dif discomfort, and don't abandon. What is, uh, what is asked of you, just because it's uncomfortable or there's a little bit of uh, trouble, physical discomfort, considering them troublesome. So that's Krishna's mentioning, one should not ab abandon obligatory duties for that reason. And karyam iti eva yat karma niyatam kriyate arjuna Sangam Chaktwa Falam Shaiva Satyaga Satviko Mata. O Arjuna, performance of obligatory works as a matter of duty while abandoning attachment and fruit of desire is renunciation of the nature of goodness. This is my opinion. So, this is Yukta Vairagya, giving up the idea that the fruit, I will. You know, what was the, the saying they had? No, no taxation without representation, meaning I'll only be taxed if, I gain, if I'm able to gain some, some fruits from this taxation. I have to be benefited otherwise. But that's not the way devotional service re works. Srila Sridhar Mars re referred to the Lord as all rights reserved, meaning that as, as he elsewhere explains, he says that uh, reality is for itself and by itself. So for itself, everything is ultimately flowing towards the center for Krishna's enjoyment. And reality is also by itself because ultimately Krishna is the cause of all causes. Ishvara parama krishna satchidananda vigraha an adir adir govinda sarva karana karanam sarva karana karanam he is the cause of all causes and ultimately reality is for itself because every, everything the waves all the waves are flowing towards the center and it is our natural position to be part of that divine movement you, we can say we're Yukta Vairagya is if we can give up the, we can um, abandon the idea that we have to be the enjoyer. Yukta Vairagya. Rather, everything should be done for Krishna's satisfaction, and it's not that I must, I must be, a, I must be involved in the, in the rewards. That's material conception, just like thieves. The thieves ultimately are st stealing, of course, and then after they steal, then they start to argue about who will get the right proportion, and they say, they, so they steal, and then they say, now we have to sit down and divide everything honestly. <laughs> so. That's what people in this world are doing. They want to, they, everything will be stolen, thinking of oneself ultimately as the supreme enjoyer, and then they want everything should be, I should get my just portion. 
Otherwise, I, why should I do anything? But that's not the basis of renunciation. Or Juna performance of obligatory works is a matter of duty while abandoning attachment and fruit of desire is renunciation of the nature of goodness. This is my opinion. Na dveshti akushalam karma kushale nanu sajjate chagi sattva samavishto medhavi china samshaya. The wise renunciant who is absorbed in the nature of goodness and who has slashed all doubts, neither resents disagreeable duties nor is attached to agreeable works. The wise renunciate, renunciant who is absorbed in the nature of goodness and who has slashed all doubts, neither resents disagreeable duties nor is attached to agreeable works. So, because I'm, I'm ultimately not in the center, I'm not meant to be the enjoyer, as we said. Reality is for itself. So the wise renunciant who is absorbed in the nature of goodness and who has slashed all doubts neither resents disagreeable duties. There are so many things that will be disagreeable. Sometimes it's even disagreeable to wake up in the morning. There's so many disagreeable things. So. A wise renunciant who is absorbed in the nature of goodness and who has slashed all doubts neither resents disagreeable duties nor is attached to agreeable works. Nahi deha britas shakyam chaktum karmani aseshata yastu karma falatyagi natyagiti abhidhiyate it is not possible for the embodied soul to fully renounce actions. However, one who renounces the fruits of his actions is a true renunciant. It is not possible for the embodied soul to fully renounce actions because obviously one has to move, exert oneself, work, to, and just to be able to maintain body and soul together. So it is not possible for the embodied soul to fully renounce actions. However, one who renounces the fruits of his actions is a true renunciant. Fruits means that I give up the I, I'm will give up the idea that I'm the enjoyer. Very difficult for one who is immersed in material. In, in this material world to give up the idea that all oh, I'm meant, life is meant for enjoyment. Anishtam ishtam mishram ja trividam karmana phalam bhavati atyaginam pritya natu sanyasinam kvachit After death, the three kinds of fruits, the three kinds of fruits of actions, good, bad, and mixed, accrue to those who have worldly desires, but never to those who are renounced. After death, the three kinds of fruits of actions, good, bad, and mixed, accrue to those who have worldly desires, but never to those who are renounced. So if one maintains the idea that all the one's actions, the fruits are meant for one's enjoyment, then that means that after death you will still need to take another body in order to get the fruits of your actions. Uh -huh. Mark? Uh -huh. like how do we switch that mindset of just, I mean, because it's obviously not simple, but it's a simple switch of like, oh, this is for me, or like, oh, this isn't for me. <laughs> how do we... Well, we'll come, we'll come by engagement in devotional service, association with devotees. Gradually, one will be able to understand that I'm the servant of Krishna and I'm working on, on his behalf. I'm not working on my behalf. 
and, and that way is one realizes that that focus can shift. It is. It is happening. You've gotten this far. And your, your situation in this world will not be agreeable to gross materialists. They will not think that this the position that you've taken up till now is, is a, a wise choice. They'll think there's something wrong with that because you've given up on in, uh, some, to a certain extent on enjoyment. So to switch completely, if you're, for instance, surrounded by good association, you have good association and you have some aptitude for, 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 for performing good actions and understanding what you are doing, then you can gradually develop some detachment from the objects of your senses. May not seem immediately apparent, but maybe will become more and more apparent over time. As you, as you, there's so many things that can help. Gradually, some, for instance, who one associates with or associated with, they gradually will give up their association with you when they see, oh, this person is not dedicated to normal enjoyment, doesn't like to go out drinking and dancing and all these other things. And they're thinking, oh, not very interesting, not necessary to associate with that kind of person. So they'll gradually give up your association I mean, I had, there was one, I knew persons from before, and of course my activities before were very much different than they are being in, involved in devotional service. So somebody I knew who was, who's a devotee and still knew some of these persons said they want to meet with you. And I was, I told them, all right, we can meet. I wasn't so desirous, but okay. We can meet, I said, but the talk has to be about, everything has to be about the present, not the past. Because I didn't want to hear about all the activities I used to do before I met the devotee. So I said, Active, the discussion has to be about the present, not the past. And then they said, Forget it. You know, that means he just wants us to, he wants to just meet with us and he'll just spend the time preaching to us. No, we don't want that. But I didn't necessarily mean that, although maybe it would come down to that, but I said, you know, just talk about now. I don't want to talk about what happened when we were young because I'm not trying to live, relive those moments. They were all done in, in the consciousness before I knew the devotee, so I didn't want to remember all the foolish activities I did before. So, but they didn't want to meet. That's, and that will happen. People want to give up your association if they, don't, if they see that not only you're not involved so much in, in enjoyment, but you're also not involved in aiding their enjoyment, other person's enjoyment. So naturally they think, oh, no need to associate with this person. He's become dull. And this will help as you associate with devotees. And you're in, especially we see if one's in good association, one has good association, even with association with somebody who's a little bit more advanced than one, then one will always be drawn to a more positive, more positive point of view and gradually develop some, as you're saying, how can one give up these wrong actions by, in part, by one's sincerity and one's also, um, by one's association. 
After death, the three kinds of fruits of actions, good, bad, and mixed, accrue to those who have worldly desires, but never to those who are renounced. Then ones who are renounced won't have to accept the results from good and good and and bad and mixed because they will be in association with persons who, whose purpose in life is to serve the Lord. Panchaita, Panchaita ni Mahabaho, Karanani ni Bodame, Shange Kritante Proktani, Siddhaye Sarvakarmanam, O mighty hero, know from me of the five causes of the accomplishment of all actions as described in the conclusive teachings of the scripture known as Sankhya or Vedanta. O mighty hero, know from me of the five causes of the accomplishment of all actions as described in the conclusive teachings of the scriptures known as Sankhya or Vedanta. So now. Krishna will describe those five causes of the accomplishment of all actions. Okay. Adhisthanam tatakarta karanam cha pritagvidam vividas cha pritakcheshta daivam chaivatra panchamam all actions are accomplished by these five causes. The body, the performer, which is ego, a knot of spirit and matter. Ego is a knot of spirit and matter. The body, the performer, in parentheses, a knot of ego, a knot of spirit and matter. So the body, ego, or the body, the performer, which is ego, the instrument, the senses, the various endeavors and the divine, the super soul. All actions are accomplished by these five causes, the body, the performer, ego, a knot of spirit and matter, the instrument, the senses, the various endeavors and the divine, the super soul. Sharira vanmano biryat Sharira van mano biryat karma prarabhate nara nyayam va viparitam va panchayate tashahetava sharira van mano biryat sharira van mano biryat karma prarabhate nara Nyayam va viparitam va panchayate tashaheta va. Whether lawful or unlawful, whatever action a man performs with his body, mind, or speech is caused by these five elements. So, those five elements again are the body, the performer, which is ego and not of spirit and matter, the instrument, which is the senses the various endeavors, and the divine, the super soul. Whether lawful or unlawful, whatever action a man performs with his body, mind, or speech is caused by these five elements. Tatraivam sati kartaram atmanam kevalam tuyat pasyati akrita buditvan Nasa pasyati dormati. But an ignorant person who sees only himself as the, as the doer does not actually see, see due to his impure intelligence. But an ignorant person who sees only himself as the doer does not actually see due to his impure intelligence. So that person, ignorant person, doesn't see and sees only as himself, so he doesn't see that all actions are accomplished by these five elements, the body, the performer, uh, ego and not of spirit and matter, the instrument, this, which is the senses, the various endeavors, 
and the, and the divine, the super soul. Yasha na hangrito babo, budir yasha na lipyade, hatvapi sa imalokan, na hanti na nibadjate. He was free from egoism, aversion to the absolute. That's what egoism is described here. Is he was free from egoism, aversion to the absolute, and whose intelligence is not implicated in worldly action. Even if he kills the entire world, he neither kills nor is he bound by action. He who is free from egoism, aversion to the absolute, and whose intelligence is not implicated in worldly action, even if he kills the entire world, he neither kills nor is he bound by action. If you become free from ego, then you will not be bound by action. That's what it's saying here. Jnanam geyam parityata trivida karma chodana karanam karma karteti trivida karma sangraha. These three are the driving force of action. Knowledge, the knowable, pardon me. These three are the driving force of action. Knowledge, the knowable, and the knower. These three are the constitution of action, the instrument, the action, and the performer. These three are the driving force of action, knowledge, the knowable, and the knower. These three are the constitution of action, the instrument, the action, and the performer. Jnanam karma chakarta cha, tridaiva guna bedata, prochate guna sankhyane, yatavach srinu tanyapi. Jnanam karma chakarta cha, tridaiva guna bedata, prochate guna sankhyane, yatavach Srinu Tanyapi. In the Sankhya scripture, knowledge, action, and the performer have been classified according to the three modes of material nature. Now hear of these from me. In the Sankhya scripture, knowledge, action, and the performer have each been classified according to the three modes of material nature. Now hear of these from me. Sarva, Sarva, Sarva Bhuteshu Yenai Kam Bhavam Abhyayam Ikshate Avi Bhaktam Vibhakteshu Tadjyanam Vidi Sattvikam Sarva Bhuteshu Yenai Kam Bhavam Abhyayam Ikshate Avi Bhaktam Vibhakteshu Tadsgyanam Pidisatvikam. That knowledge by which the one imperishable and undivided principle, my divine, my superior divine potency, is seen to be present in all the diverse living beings, is to be known as knowledge of the nature of goodness. That knowledge by which the one imperishable and undivided principle, my superior divine potency, is seen to be present in all the diverse living beings, is said to be known as knowledge of the nature of goodness. So I'll repeat that one more time. That knowledge by which the one imperishable and undivided principle, my superior divine potency, is seen to be present in all the diverse living beings is to be known as knowledge of the nature of goodness. Hmm. 
Okay. So I'm going to stop here for tonight. And tomorrow I'll start with that verse and we'll see. Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jadavaya Nama Jadavaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama Gopal Govinda Ram Shimadu Sudan Giridari Gopinatha Manana Mohan Giridari Gopinatha Manana Mohan Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Gadadara Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jai Rupa Sanatan Bhattaragunath Jai Rupa Sanatan Bhattaragunath Sri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghunath Sri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghunath Echai Gosai Kori Charana Bandhan Echai Gosai Kori Charana Bandhan Echai Gosai Kori Charana Bandhan Echai Gosai Charmui Tardas Tasabar pada renu mora pancha gras. Tasabar pada renu mora pancha gras. Tadir charana sevi bhakta sani bhas. Janame janame more abhilas. Echai Gosai Jabe Braje Koilabas Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori La Prakash Anande Bolo Hari Baja Brindavan Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Manjai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koriyash Harinam Sankirtana Kohe Naratamodas Shri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koriyash Harinam Sankirtana Kohe Naratamodas Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Nitai Gora Hari Bo, 
Haribo, Haribo, Haribo. Nitai Gora Haribo, 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 Haribo. Jai Saparikara Shishi Guru Guranga Gandharvika Giridhari Juki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Paravajaka Charyasta Dara Sadashi Srimad Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Gosai Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Paravajaka Charya Ashta Dara Sadashi Srimad Srila um, Bhakti Nirmal Acharya Maharaj Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Gosain Maharaj Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Gosain Maharaj Ki Jai, Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Sudanta Saraswati Gosain Thakur Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Gorki Shordas Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Satchidananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnu Pad, Vaishnava Sarva Bhoma Srila Jagannath Das, Baba Ji Maharaj Ki Jai, Rubanuga Guru Bhargava Ki Jai, Namachari Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai, Sri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunath, Sri Jeeva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunath, Shadgo Swami Prabhu Ki Jai, Prem Sigo Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasudev Sri Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Vishvavarena Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Manaraj Prabhupada Ki Jai, Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai, Sri Navadip Dham Ki Jai, Sri Dhammayapur Ki Jai, Saparshada Sri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai, Saparshada Sri Man Mahaprabhu Ki Jai, Sri Kalavip Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai, Sokel Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevasham Ki Jai, Ganga Devi Ki Jai, Tulasi Manarani Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Sri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Govardhan Shyam Kuna Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Jo Ki Jai Shri Purushota Madam Ki Jai Bala Dev Subhadra Jagannath Jo Ki Jai Bhakti Vignavi Nashaya Shina Shinga Dev Ki Jai Bhakta Prabhadra Shri Pallad Maharaj Ki Jai Samaveda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai All the assembled devotees Ki Jai Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bo Jai Om Vishnu Pachula Bhakti Kavan Janardha Maharaj Ki Jai Thank mm -hmm. you.